Yeah, <clears throat> oh, I've not been very well. I uh, thought I'd share a few thoughts on swine flu with you. <laughs> I, uh, I, well, I came back um, from Professor Furtwanger's <laughs> and um, got, uh, and I felt pretty ill on the Monday. And I woke up and I, you know, and I thought, goodness me, you know, bad cold or something. Well, anyway, there is hysteria in, in the UK about us at the moment, and uh, even though very few people have had it, I mean, it's not, it's not a good thing that people have passed away. But, uh, you know, it's only a few, you know, relatively speaking, a few people. And with lots and lots of cases. So, anyways, I'm feeling a bit grotty, and then Tuesday I felt a little bit worse, and uh, yesterday I thought, well, but, yeah, because I, you know, some of you may know, I had a quite serious accident a few years ago, and uh, it's left me uh, pretty battered. And, uh, so anyway, I went to the doctor, and uh, the doctor told me that, um, after taking my temperature and asking me a few questions, I did indeed have, uh, swine flu and um, but you know I, I was about oh I don't know what a wee while ago now I had the flu the, the standard sort of flu and by god was I ill I was in bed for uh, three days and felt absolutely awful and uh, So I hate going to bed, you know, when you're ill. When I was a kid, I'd, I'd be ill, but I'd rather go to school simply because I just hated lying in bed all day. Um, anyway, I'm going to turn that down a bit. Um, Anyway, so uh, so there I was, but uh, you know, it's only Thursday today, and I feel decidedly, I don't feel right, I uh, had a chat this afternoon with somebody, but that was the first time I had communications with that, yeah, so I well, other than my dear old mother who phoned up worried, and then when I told her I had been told I had swine flu, she went into a blind panic. Um, yeah, now the funny thing, which is what I really wanted to share with you, was that um, sadly I won't be able to do this myself but I can't remember I, it was on a program on um, in the UK well I looked into this after I seen the program because one of the funny things that I noticed in the program the program was done it was a special series of programs and it was looking at people today and looking back at their ancestors who'd been uh, who'd been in the military during the Great War of 1914-18 and um, sadly one of the people um, she was a, she is a newsreader on the uh, on the, on um, on uh, one of the TV channels here. Her, um, her great 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 uncle, or something not that many greats actually, but uh, he had died in 19, uh, 1918 or 1919, I can't remember which. But anyway, the sad, sad, sad thing about this chap was that he made it, he joined up uh, underage in 1914. Um, Got all the way through the war, fought at the first Battle of Ypres, or Ypres, sorry, and fought at the first day of the Somme. You know, and both of these battles on both sides were absolute carnage, you know. So he survived, and then he went and died of the flu in uh, in a hospital. Um, literally two or three days after the armistice was signed. Which, you know, I mean, 
How tragic is that? You know, you survive all of that just to get the flu and die. Uh, in my mother's village, the cemetery there has war graves from the First World War, but they're they're Canadian uh, chaps, and um, they uh, they they uh, got the flu and died. It's a, you know, it's hard to imagine how awful that must have been. But um, well, anyway, they were looking at newspapers at the time. I'm, t I'm taking a long time to get to the point here, aren't I? Um, and one of the papers, I just noticed it, they didn't even make reference to it, and it had um, protection against uh, the flu, uh, influ the Spanish influenza, which I think is what it's called, uh, snuff, effective sort of preventative against uh, uh, against the flu. Well, I, I thought this was quite amusing, and I kind of looked into this, and then quite recently I saw another couple of articles, medical articles, and actually the use of nasal snuff is act, it does actually work uh, and if only if only I had known that uh, well mind you saying that I use a quarrel with the stuff and I still got it but you know what are you going to do um, yeah I thought I, it was just, it's a lovely sunset here we've had such miserable weather recently but I thought I'd just make a video just to share that sunset with you Tannhäuser and um, pipes, making a bit of the old um, the uh, the um, bullseyes which uh, John kindly sent me. Cheers, mate. They are very, very nice. I like uh, Virginia Perique tobaccos. Clive does one uh, called Special uh, Reserve. I found that if you smoke it quite fresh, I after he mixes it up himself, you know, from takes the tobaccos off of it. If you smoke it straight away, it's not such a nice tobacco. But I left a jar. I thought I'd had enough of it. It just made my mouth horrible. Anyway. And um, and um, yeah. Anyway, um, leave it for a while. It's quite pleasant. But these are very, very good. Well, anyway, I think that's enough for tonight. I uh, I hope you're all well and. Um, I uh, no doubt will uh, speak to you very soon. Cheers.